Hey first graders, I'm here with math lesson 8-3 talking about fourths. Yesterday we talked about equal shares and splitting things in two. We only had one friend to share with. Today we have more friends. There's four of us and we need to split our things equally so we can all share together. So just like yesterday, I'm going to show you some shapes that I split up into four pieces and we're going to check them out and see if we think they are equal shares or not. Then we'll talk about what we call these equal shares and we'll be done for the day. So we're going to start with this one. This is a rectangle. I want you to look really closely because for at first you may think this is equal shares. But take a look. This side, our top and our bottom are a lot longer than our sides. So these pieces are actually different. So that is not equal shares. What about this one? Would you be happy if you got this piece? Nope, that's not equal shares. What about this one? Those ones look pretty fair to me. Those are equal shares. What about this one? Both of these circles, they're pretty close. Miss Slumson circle's kind of funky, but if you split it that way, it should work out if you're drawing perfectly that those are equal shares. And then this one at the bottom, I did like that first one, but this one was a rectangle and this one's a square. Are these equal shares? They sure are, all the sides are the same. And this one too. So we're checking out how if you have four equal shares like this, what do we name it? So if you're talking about this one piece, just one of these pieces, you would call it a fourth. That is one of the things you could call it, one fourth. Another thing you could do, just like we talked about yesterday, is one out of how many shares? It would be four shares today. So you could call it one out of four shares. And for this, there's actually another special name for these um, separate fourths, and that's called a quarter. And we know quarter from our money. If you think about a quarter in money, how many quarters do you need to get to a whole dollar? 25, 50, 75, 100. So it takes four quarters to get to a whole dollar. And for this, it would take four quarters to make a whole shape. So it kind of goes along with the money by calling this quarters. So another way to call just one of four shares, so just if it's split into four and you only want one, you would say that's a quarter. And then if we were talking about the whole shape, what well, we would name all the shares, that would be a whole, because you have the whole thing, or it could be four fourths, or it could be four quarters, or it could be four out of four shares. So today we are just discussing that if you are trying to split something in four ways, chopping it up and sharing it equally with your friends, that it is called a fourth, one out of four shares, or a quarter. All right, so you can practice by drawing your own shapes and seeing if you could split them up and make them look equally split into four shares, okay? All right, it was good seeing you, chatting with you, teaching you. Bye.